Welcome to Business News. From a recent survey reports on business financing and growth in the country during this pandemic are quite low. Business issues like managing risks, increasing revenues, controlling costs, financial goals, managing and improving performance are being addressed with experts during an exclusive interview with Galaxy TV News. This expert advised business owners to imbibe effectiveness and efficacy. Business efficacy simply means the power to produce intended results. Speaking with his business professionals, they advise entrepreneurs to make better business decisions that are at the heart of successful business transformation during this lockdown is. Prince Chase Xavier, President Association of Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria, Amen, agreed to the poor financing in business, advising entrepreneurs and incoming business owners on which business to venture into, how to start and manage their finances, customers, increase productivity and save time. If you want to go into business now, you should go into business of daily, essential daily needs. M most people start business with borrowing, probably their family, you know, support them in one way or the other. Loan is not addressable. If, if you have a, a property, probably you have a, those of them have, um, have gold and other things, they can sell their, their um, valuable items and to raise money and, and start business. The, one of the areas to manage finance is, is to cut your expenses. You have to have you know, character, you have to have you know, you know, trust. I advise uh, business, um, people that is in business already, even people that are um, upcoming uh, entrepreneurs, you know, to always look for a mentor. Right, somebody that has been in the business before. You should avoid being greedy. Because any, if you are a greedy man, you must fall victim of, of all this uh, 419. Stephen Moses, a software engineer and artificial intelligence expert, pointed out the need to be well informed about a business before starting. He also said that investment and technology leveraging would cut costs and solve problems in running a successful business during these times. Meanwhile, on the note to ease business owners and incoming entrepreneurs in running their businesses, Dr. Femi Egbeshola, President Association of Small Business Owners of Nigeria, via a video chat, said the NAVDAC registration is at 80%, noting that the registration can be done through the e-platform. They need to um, be able to get as much information as, from their business as possible. Every single thing that is going on with your business, when it comes to sales, retail, marketing, management, production, you need to have those information at your fingertips because you might need to make very, very important decisions and it, would be, it could be very detrimental to make decisions when you don't have the full information about what's really going on with your business. You need to look at investment, all right? Do not put all your eggs in one basket. Another thing again is leveraging technology for your total operations. Uh, COVID-19 has come and uh, even if COVID-19 is defeated, it's going to, it has already changed the way we do business. It has changed the way we relate with one another. This will um, allow you to also reduce cost. For some persons, you know, some persons might need to use artificial intelligence, especially in, if you're in the same area of security and other things like that. Some other persons might just need to use um, basic software. And very, very importantly, uh, generating sales is very key. You should always look at how am I going to generate sales? How are we going to make more money? How are we going to satisfy more clients? How are we going to meet more needs? And the best way to do this is to use the biggest platform in the world, which is the internet. And always consult only those who are professionals. Very difficult road always leads to amazing destinations. Are you aware that you can now register your product from the comfort of your home with NAFDAQ at 80% discount? What that means is that with about 7,600 Naira the minimum, you can now register your product through the e-platform of NAFDAQ. This opportunity is there for us for the next six months. In conclusion to this report, they all pointed out ways to run businesses in Nigeria at ease and advise business owners not to wait in government for financial assistance, but rather to plan, grow and build their finances and businesses during these times in Nigeria. And that'll be all on the business news.